Hi, I'm Dr. Margarita Hernandez, clinical psychologist at Middlesex Health Center for Behavioral Health. At Middlesex Health, our mission is to provide the highest quality of health care. At Surgical Alliance, our goal is to help improve patients' health and quality of life through weight loss. At Surgical Alliance, you will work with a team of surgeon, dietitian, and psychologist before and after bariatric surgery to ensure success. With regard to the psychological aspects, you will be asked to do a psychological consultation. The purpose of the consultation is to assess for any psychiatric condition or eating issues that may lead to post-operative difficulty. The evaluation usually takes two to three hours and will include some psychological testing. During that time, we will review your psychiatric history, substance use, eating habits, mood disturbances, and preparation for surgery. At the end of the evaluation, your assessor will review the results with you. They will also give you one of three conclusions. One, you're cleared for surgery and no longer need to follow up with psychology unless issues arise in the future. They will also make recommendations um, for a psychological, psychiatric, substance abuse, and or eating disorder treatment. If recommendations are made for any of these things, you will be asked to come back in three months to be reevaluated. The third option is denial of surgery due to psychiatric concerns. What are problematic eating behaviors? Problematic eating behaviors involve an obsession with food and body weight that can cause physical and emotional problems that result in an eating disorder. Some psychological problems. Your physical health can be harmed if eating disorders are ignored for too long. Treatment is needed to prevent malnutrition, organ damage, and even death. Emotional problems. People who have eating disorders may feel out of control, anxious, or depressed. Types of problematic eating behaviors. You have binge eating, which is consuming large amounts of food and feeling out of control. People who binge prior to surgery are not as successful post-surgery. You also have grazing, which is continuously eating throughout the day and evening. Additionally, there is emotional eating, which is eating when not hungry due to boredom, depression, anxiety, anger, or other negative emotions. And finally, food addiction. Food addiction for some people can be just as addictive as drugs or alcohol. Sugar and carbohydrates have been shown to be just as addictive as cocaine. Sugar and carbohydrates also impact the pleasure sensors of the brain and provide feelings of calmness and relaxation. Not addressing food addiction prior to surgery can lead to a transfer of addiction following the surgery. What are some reasons for people developing eating disorders? Poor self-image, need for control, need to overachieve, stressful personal life, and difficulty managing emotions. <clears throat> what are some ways to treat uh, eating disorders is Therapy, individual or group therapy, you will learn ways to think about or behave around food. You will also learn what triggers poor eating behaviors. Additionally, you will learn distress tolerance coping skills. Other ways of treating eating disorders is through support groups, nutritional counseling, medication, and learning some relaxation techniques. What are distress tolerance coping skills and why learn them? Distress tolerance coping skills help you handle stress, emotional distress, and painful emotions skillfully and safely so you can do well in tough situations. Emotional pain is part of being alive and we have to learn how to cope with it. Many painful events, if tolerated and accepted, can help us grow and find strength we didn't know we had. Distress tolerance skills are not going to make the situation better instantly or make you feel better right away. What are relaxation techniques and why learn them? 
Relaxation techniques are effective and accessible methods to help you relax and to relieve stress or emotional distress. These techniques can help you relieve problems related to stress, including physical problems like headaches, fatigue, stomach and digestive problems, and difficulty sleeping. Signs of emotional distress like irritability, tension, difficulty to concentrate, and anxiety. When you are relaxed, you will have more energy to take on life's daily challenges. Preparing for surgery. Get as much information as possible with regard to bariatric surgery. Follow diet and exercise program. This is gonna be essential before and after surgery. Understand your relationship with food. What are eating habits that are hard for you to break? Are you an emotional eater? Are you addicted to food? Gather support, family, friends, who can help you during your preparation before and after surgery. Set realistic goals. The surgery is not a guarantee for simple weight loss and maintenance. It will require a lifestyle change. Learn relaxation techniques and alternative coping skills. Post-operative difficulties can include returning to old eating habits, finding other ways to manage stress and emotions, not seeing the weight loss, dealing with other life issues and changes in relationships. Post-op support is going to be essential. That would be medical follow-up, dietary follow-up, psychological follow-up if needed, support groups, and dietary programs.